Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today, Wednesday, we have seen a slight recovery of Bitcoin. Uh, we have been up 2000 and change dollars since the bottom. And without further delay, we are going to screen share. I will just start as usual with the price to time model. And uh, here we are, a very interesting thing. If you guys can see it, we could also call this a fractal of the 2017 uh, cycle retracement. And of course, this is a bit bigger, this cycle, than comparing to the other one on 2017. But you guys can see that the bottom of this retracement almost, almost went to the same level as the 2017 cycle. And you know what happened after that in 2017, of course. So this is a very uh, interesting coincidence because, as you guys can see, if you extrapolate this fractal, this correction here, which is bigger in size, the scale of the, uh, of the price structure on the chart is a bit bigger, but it's almost the same as the 2017 cycle before just continuing the run to the top uh, that's very interesting in my opinion we are a bit delayed as compared can we continue to be delayed as compared to, to, to the 2017 cycle however uh, this interesting price structure as i will show on the next chart which i decided to include a new chart in the analysis will demonstrate to you guys that we are in a very good position to continue the uptrend so the bull cycle trend Okay, so going back to the RSI, we stopped again going down. So we are just ranging on the RSI. We are ranging between this level, the first level of the 30K that we achieved four weeks ago or five weeks ago. I can't remember exactly. Then we went up to the orange dashed line, which represents the absolute bottom for the RSI after the 75% correction. Uh, mid-cycle 2013 the local top and then we went back down again but now we are stopping going down on the RSI because we have been recovering f since yesterday we went up around two and a half thousand dollars uh, from the 28.8 level that we achieved yesterday so that's it for the price of time model. We are just a bit delayed compared to the cycle. The RSI stopped going down, but no big news except this coincidence that I found here that this, uh, this uh, price structure, the rounded price structure going to the downside uh, is very similar, uh, just a bigger scale to the 2017 cycle, mid cycle 2017, when we had that big correction also. Okay, going to the second chart, which I decided to include now in the analysis, we have now the total, the total crypto market in analysis in this chart. So this represents the complete uh, market cap of cryptos. Um, so this includes every coin that exists. And as you guys can see here, I was uh, analyzing this uh, today, this morning, and we barely went below the support context. This has a very, very interesting meaning. It means that the uh, probabilities of going to new all-time highs are very, very big and continuation of the bull trend. You guys can see, I will zoom in here. There is not just just a hair. If you put the chart on the exact size, it's just a hair that we went below the support context for the crypto total. And immediately we went back up to, uh, um, to the top of the support context. This means that if we continue to accumulate a bit more in this area, it's very, very probable that the strength of the market will shoot us to the upside because as you guys can see, the trend is still here. The support context is going up and you guys, uh, only this one, uh, this support context box went a bit down uh, for this um, for this month because this represents this is monthly. If you guys see here, the this box, for example, started on the first of April and ended on the thirtieth of April. So this represents an entire month. And of course, for the month of June, because of this big vertical retracement we had here. 
uh, of course, this box was a bit lowered. However, the resistance context went up. So it widened the context. And this is very, very interesting for the crypto total. This means that the support is here as we expected. So the 28.8 .8 on Bitcoin, for example, might be might really well be the bottom for this retracement. I see a lot of strength here. The indicator gives me bullish, uh, bullish um, signals. We have already the blue, um, the blue areas here on the um, momentum indicator, the pro momentum, and we also have a nice retracement of all coins to the upside, to the upper part of the support context. This means that. If we would have been very, very much below the support context, this would have been uh, worrying. But the fact that the support context hold the lines here, it's very good. And with some accumulation in this area, we might really well shoot to the upside again. And that means uh, that the very, very important charts right now to look at, it's the crypto total and the Bitcoin dominance, because they are going to tell us a lot about the future steps uh, in the short term and medium term. So um, this is a very good uh, price structure. I, I, I can tell you that I, I really like this price structure. The fact that we didn't go below the support context is also very, very good. It shows very good strength in the market. So going to the Bitcoin charts now, and we start with the MRI on the weekly. And here we are. I can tell you guys, if we go above the level of the opening of this candle here, which was around 35 and 500, and if this hammer candle turns green for the end of the week, which will come in, you know, just a few days, four days, uh, I, I, I can tell you that I would not like the price of Bitcoin to go above that level. I would much prefer this candle to close as a hammer and not very extended to the upside, but a green hammer. If this closes around the 36,000 area as a green hammer, uh, this is very, very bullish. And it might very well indicate a reversal of the price action and reactivation of the bull trend to the upside. That is my opinion, of course. Uh, you guys should um, think by yourselves, hear my opinion, hear different opinions, and, and of course, even trying to define your own opinion about what's happening in the market. But in my personal opinion, if this candle, the weekly candle here closes as a green hammer, this is a very, very good sign. Uh, we have been discussed this before also. Uh, as you guys can see here, I said before that if we had a big drop to the downside, we might have a big, big week for this scandal and the 50 period SMA would support the price. And that's exactly as predicted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love to say this exactly as predicted. As I said before, this week would be very, very long and uh, possibly crossing the 50 period SMA to the downside and finding support on this um, uh, moving average, as I, I uh, as I said for so many times in the videos. But in top on top of that, if we have a green hammer to close this week, I can tell you guys that we are going up in a fury. So uh, let's see what happens. I bet if if this becomes a green hammer and not very extended to the upside. So I would like to have the the candle body not much bigger than the current one, but just a green candle. If that happens, it's very, very bullish. It shows accumulation for the rest of the week. Probably the price would go up, form a hammer around, you know, like half at half the height of the previous uh, candle body, that would be amazing sign of bullishness for the market and Bitcoin. So that's it for the weekly. The RSI continues to go sideways. The MACD, of course, as a lag indicator, this is, it shows uh, still a bearish, um, a bearish bias here, but we are already seeing some signs of uh, bullish momentum. The light red bars here, no gaps between the three last bars. So it's a very good indication that we could be actually experiencing a price action reversal and i like it i like the finally i i, I like the weekly chart again 
for some time i didn't like it for about a month i i, I thought this was a very bearish uh, chart but however we have been doing exactly what we um forecasted here and i'm just waiting for this to become a red candle here uh, sorry a green hammer candle here okay let's see the daily so the daily uh exactly so so this is exactly what i expect for the weekly candle to do you guys see it here on the daily already so this is the daily candle of yesterday which shows a very very bullish uh um, bias here um this candle is long week to the downside then we expected uh, of course a lot of people waiting in the sidelines to buy this 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 dip that happened there was a lot of buying here you see the volume bar is very very high and it turned out to be a hammer a green hammer and now we have the continuation to the upside on the daily candle so let's see if we can at least accumulate for some more time around this area and slowly overcome this resistance that we have here with the vpvr as you guys can see here we have a level of resistance here that has to be um, surpassed to the upside but if we take three or four more days to do it and we achieve that level i said before around the thirty-six thousand, which should be around here so this is around the where currently the 20 period SMA is. Uh, if we can close the weekly candle around this level, so this might continue for a few more days. And if we do it slowly, slowly, this will be very good for accumulation and a shoot up to the upside after this first resistance. So I really like the daily, uh, the daily chart also. We are, however, on a, green, on a red seven of nine which means that if we continue to the upside and we pass that candle over there, this will reset the count and start a new green count to the upside, which would not be bad, but I would prefer to have an MRI bottom. But however, if this continues very, very slowly, we might still have an MRI bottom. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if it's possibly um, in the future to have in the next few days an MRI bottom, but we would need to not go above that candle for that to happen. So let's see what happens here. Uh, so that's the daily. The RSI, of course, was really close to the oversold territory, but now we are pointing up. The MACD is a bit undecided about what to do, but the lines are really, really close to each other. As you guys can see, they are just going sideways. But if we continue this um, momentum to the upside in a, in a, in a slowly pace, and we actually close the week as expected as a green hammer. I'm expecting this blue line to cross to the upper side of the orange line, giving bullish indication of the market. So that's it for the daily. Let's just take a look at the BitMEX funding rate on the four hours. So the four hours is not very famous here. I don't like this. Uh, it's not showing some signs of uh, bullishness, but this is for the short term, of course. And the BitMEX funding rate is very good for the bullish case because we are now negative and this is negative 0.1, exactly 0.1. So uh, very good, RSI going sideways, the MACD is bullish, but this candle here shows a big resistance around this level, exactly what we discussed around the 35, 36. So let's see what happens. But in the short term, it's not being, it, it's, it's not being easy for Bitcoin to uh, overcome this resistance around that level. So that's it for the MRI. Uh, let me just take a quick look here on the Pro Indicators framework. So very, very similar to what happened on the crypto total. We have Bitcoin being held here. The lines were uh, held at the support context. We are now going up, having some accumulation, which is very, very good. As I said, we should not shoot to the upside immediately because that will uh, prove to be very, very weak uh reactivation of the bull trend but we should consolidate before breaking that resistance and the best 
case would be to start uh, to close the week on that green uh, hammer and then to start a new week continuously going up in a steady pace very slowly and start a new candle for that week also above the previous one. That would be very, very good. But for that, we need some accumulation in this area. And then, of course, there is this resistance of the trend line that we have to overcome also. And just after that, we have the 35, 36,000 level of resistance of the VPVR. So this will not be easy to surpass here, this area. And that's exactly probably what we need to continue to go up in a very slowly pace. So let's see how this evolves. But so far, it's very, very good that we had this price reversal on the support context. That is very bullish. And I'm expecting some moves to the upside soon. Okay, let's just take a look here at the dollar and again, exactly as predicted. And as I said in my previous video, I was not expecting the dollar to even cross that line over there, the orange dashed line. Uh, so this was a one to four candle correction. And if that is true, we have a new downtrend here if you unite this with a line. So there is a new downtrend here and I'm expecting the dollar not to cross it again to the upper side. So let's see what happens there. Let me just put this in red so that we know this is a negative trend. And there it is. So if this continues to be resistance for the dollar, I'm expecting in the next weeks, I'm not going to say two, three or four weeks, but maybe more. I'm expecting the dollar to finally break this goddamn support that we have here for so long and that I've been praying to all the gods that exist in this world and the next that we can finally break this support to the downside and go below the 89 level which I've been asking for for so long. So that's it for the dollar finally going down again and that's very good. I love it. I love the red candles in the dollar charts. Gold. Gold has been finding support on my trend line. Also, we are now just squeezed in between the trend line and this down trend line, which should be red. I'm just going to change it also. I sometimes forget to put the red on the down trend lines. So we are now being squeezed by the trend line coming from the uh, last swing high. Uh, and now also supported by the trend line exactly so we are being squeezed and i hope that dollar also overcomes this trend line and continues the uptrend that everyone is expecting well everyone should expect this in gold and bitcoin because of the hyperinflation that is coming to the dollar really soon as i as i said i'm just waiting for the 89 on the dixie to be broken to the downside and then you guys will see what really inflation is so they they continue to lie and to say that everything is under control that in fact there is deflation but guys don't <laughs> don't trust verify and if you verify you will see that a lot of stuff is much more expensive now than it was one year ago and you guys know what that means that means inflation so that's it for the gold uh the smp is actually going against what I was expecting. I was expecting the S&P to continue this downtrend and at least find support on the 20 period SMA, probably even going to the 50 if this would take longer. But there's been a reversal on the S&P 500. And this is very surprising to me because now we are again breaking the all time highs. So we are below the trend line, but again, going back to the upside and probably if we go again above this trend line, we will have a break of the all time high and continuation. So let's see what happens there on the S&P 500. And that's it, guys. We are on the last chart for now. We had a break of the trend line here. So this was the moment that I should start to think if I'm bearish or bullish, but analyzing the crypto total and analyzing the fact that Bitcoin was supported exactly at the top of the support context. And now seeing this reversal also on the long term um, bull trend that is represented by this white line here, I see that we are very, very close to go up there again. So as I said, if we close the week 
weekly candle above the 35 and 500 or 36,000, which should be around here. That's exactly going above the trend line again and probably finding support to shoot the price action to the upside again. So I'm I'm very uh, I'm sorry to say, but every every uh, YouTuber that you have seen in the past in the past few days or even two weeks saying that we are now in a bear market, I'm sorry to say they just don't know what they are saying. This continues to be a bull trend. Of course, we had a big retracement, but this continues to be a bull trend. All the charts indicate this is a bull trend. If you go to the crypto total, that price structure shows everyone that this is still a bull trend and we have a bigger, much bigger probability to shoot up to the upside again and break the all time highs still this year than going down and continuation to lower levels, probably finding support on the 20K, as many of them said. So guys, don't believe those guys. Don't, don't hear all those different and extreme opinions about the market because uh, you, should, you should watch the videos of my mentor, one of my mentors, Phil, the French guy that I told you about, the guy that created the Pro Indicators. If you see his last two videos on YouTube, you will see what is happening on the market by someone that really, really knows much more than I do. And, and guys, you should listen to that. If you have the opportunity, just search for Phil, uh, the Pro Indicators um, YouTube channel, uh, hear what he has to say about the markets, and then you will see that um, two or three people that, of course, we all know, saying that we are now in a bear market and that, that the bear market is confirmed and all that crap. This is all crap. We are not in a bear market yet. This has the price structure to shoot up to the upside. And there's a lot of strength in these levels. And if we do exactly as I described, if we close the week on a green hammer, and if we go above the trend line again, you will see what will happen. And I'm very confident that this is what will happen. Okay, guys, so that's it for today. I don't want to extend a lot this video. We are already on 20 minutes. So let's uh, close here. Let me stop the screen share. And of course, if you enjoy this content, gently touch the like button. Please subscribe to the channel, but don't forget to touch also the bell icon and select all notifications so that you know every time I upload a video. Also, the Telegram group. Don't forget to subscribe to the Telegram group where everyone that watches this channel is there. And of course, we can discuss different ideas. You can debate with very, very intelligent people there. So t.me slash fu money, or if you go to the Telegram app, just search for fu money. Okay, guys. So today I will leave you again with the wise words. All right, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. And of course, let's roll and be really careful out there in the markets. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.